Guys, it is Lasco21, and today we are going to be playing a new game. So yeah, we're going to be playing Star Wars Battle for Base Command. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try getting three stars in all the levels. So as you can see, I've actually got them three stars on like the first four levels. I'm going to be using the second and the third from my first attempt, but the first and the second I only got two stars. So I'm going to go back and play them again. So the first level is Siege, or Welcome to Base Command. So we're going to play that. So if you get one star, you get 60 star points. If you get two, you get 100. If you get three, you get 250. But the thing is, you get all of them. So if you get two stars, you get the 160, not just the 100. So yeah, this level, you only play against stormtroopers. So yeah, let's click play siege. And okay, so we're starting off with an X-Wing, Snowspeeder, and Rebel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out this Rebel for another card. And unfortunately, it was another Rebel. So that was pretty much a waste of a turn, but doesn't really matter. So we kill the first stormtrooper. As you can see on the top right, it shows how many enemies are left. So yeah. The thing is, oh well, they actually get, that's pretty unlucky or unusual, but usually when land troops attack uh, what is it? Air troops, they usually don't actually do any damage, but for whatever odd reason they actually did in this in this case. So that was kind of odd. As you can see there, it shows miss. So it's I guess it's a pretty unusual occurrence compared to unusual. There we go. So so we got an X wing and a snow speeder. Switch out a rebel for another X wing, which is really nice. Yep. So that one time when I got crit by that stormtrooper, that was a pretty un unlucky thing. Okay, we're going to add this rank up card to the snow speeder, even though it's not really necessary at all. I'm just going to do it just because I have it. See so yeah, how pretty much the game works. Uh, you get like certain, it's like a turn based, it's a turn based strategy game pretty much. So you get like a certain amount of cards, and then yeah. So you get the like attacking cards, and then you get the uh, cards that are like defending cards. So the defense cards are like the ones on the left, and they pretty much like give perks and stuff to your vehicle. Like this f top one, it pretty much allows a, a unit to attack anywhere. So let's say if I give it to him, he can attack anywhere, but otherwise he can only attack in the first ring of like stuff. So he actually might just finish the guy off. Okay, seems like he d won't. Uh, the second card is the target enemy will attack in the same coordinate, and the last one is... We can give a card squad lead perk, so let's put that on our X-Wing and have him finish off the last Stormtrooper with a nice crit. So yeah, let's see. I think I got two stars. Well, I hope I did. Okay, yeah, I got two stars. Or three stars. Sweet. I think that may have been a new high score. I'm not sure, but... Yeah, now we're going to move on to level two. So yeah, I'm going to restart, I guess. We use our custom deck number one. So yeah, and this one is the same amount of money, so in total you can get 410 from each of the ones, which you can actually use in the act game when it comes out. So yeah, in this one there's speeders, stormtroopers, and X-Wing, or TIE Fighters. This is a lot more difficult than the first one. So it seems that every time you start off, you get an X-Wing, a snow speeder, and a rebel, or just a normal rebel. So what I do is I always discard the rebel, because... He's not as strong as any of the other ones. So luckily my uh, A-Wing crit there, which that's a new card to this one, I think, because we didn't get the last time. What it does is it pretty much can attack anywhere in one squadron. As you can see, the Snowspeeder can attack in the inner two rings. So yeah, we're going to use him to take out another Snowspeeder. Oh, sadly, he didn't actually kill this. Or it's not Snowspeeder, just the Speeder. But yeah, and the X-Wing can attack in the outer ring. So yeah, we're going to use him to get rid of these annoying guys, so we're going to have that. There we go. So we get our two rebels, which is unfortunate, so we're going to get rid of one of them. We get another snow speeder, and we're going to use the turret to finish off that guy. Use him to try killing Ooh, the crit. This guy's a legend. And this rebel paid off quite a bit. So yep. Yeah. We're going to end our turn there since we can't do anything. But since we have our two snow speeders, we can actually use them to hopefully take out these two speeder bikes. But 
as we can see, our snow speeders are not the most strongest of troop. So, cool. We can use this card to actually end that one, since we got unlucky with it. But now we can have this guy take out the other one, which is nice. And then finally we're going to use our A-Wing card to take out this uh, speeder bike. Sadly, he didn't do enough damage, so we're going to end our turn again. So now the TIE Fighters are starting to show up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to once again get rid of our Rebel, and we got an X-Wing instead, which is nice. I'm going to use that guy to attack the TIE Fighter. Oof, that was pretty lucky. So we actually killed him in the first try, which usually does not happen. So we're going to hit the guy that's full health. Because now we can use our cannon to end one of them. And I think this card... Nope, but we're going to use that, because whatever card attacks the thing, once the shield's down, dies. So, yep, we're going to do that, and, yeah, we can't use that, so we're going to have our end our turn there. So that guy died. Okay, so now we're left with a Stormtrooper. Two. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this perk to the X-Wing and hope for the best. Doesn't seem like we're going to get as lucky as that last time. So we're going to use this guy to end him, hopefully. Yeah, nice heat crit, so that's pretty nice. So we're going to use this last A-Wing to get rid of this pesky Stormtrooper. There we go. Awesome. So yep. We're going to end our turn there. So we've got a Rebel. We're going to discard that card. And we're going to use this. Oh, okay, we're not actually going to use that. So this card's going to get plus two attack now, above its one health, so hopefully it's going to actually take out the uh, TIE Fighter, which it does, which is really nice. Then we have this card. So once it gets to the first level, it can attack in two quadrants, so we're going to use him to attack there. Hopefully he can actually take it out. Sadly he can't, so we're going to use our X-Wing to take out this guy which is easy and I guess we can use okay so that's not in range so we have to end our turn there so all that's left is a stormtrooper who should die yep and a pesky speeder which is now dead so yeah I think I got three stars there so that's two uh, stupid low battery and I only got two stuff oh, we did get the three stars in the end so yeah, that's how you get three stars. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time.